a butterfly with withered scarlet wings found in the swamp of Aeonia. According to myth, these butterflies were once the wings of the goddess of Rot herself. In the mythology of the lands between, the origin of the Aeonian butterflies are as wings of the goddess of Rot, Melenia. Myths are traditional stories told to explain the world and history of a culture, and I love imagining this as a myth passed down through the generations. It evokes for me a scene of some elder pointing out an Aeonian butterfly to some children and telling them how the Aeonian butterflies are the feathers of Melania's wings, explaining their origin. And like any good myth, it also provides a lesson, in this case a warning, to steer clear of the butterflies because they are of Melania and therefore carry scarlet rot. The thing is, is the myth true? It is obvious from our encounter with Melania that she indeed has wings made of butterflies, but do they really originate from her wings? In our world, myths are a work of fiction, or at least deviate from reality, but this is a myth from the mythological lands between. Come and join me as I explore what we know about the wings of the goddess of rot and separate myth from reality. Melenia was afflicted with scarlet rot from birth. We don't get much about Melenia's early years, but it's easy to imagine how difficult growing up with such a debilitating disease must have been. Scarlet rot claimed Melenia's left arm, legs, and her vision, and scarlet rot called for her sense of self and her dignity according to the unalloyed gold needle. And even with Mikola's unalloyed gold needle slowing the rot, Melenia may never have gained wings if she had not met her mentor. The prosthesis wear heirloom is a talisman engraved with a scene from a heroic tale that raises dexterity. Its description tells us that, though born into the accursed rot, when the young girl encountered her mentor and his flowing blade, she gained wings of unparalleled strength. The talisman depicts Melenia being taught the blade from her mentor, but what she really learned is the key to overcoming Scarlet Rot and gaining wings of unparalleled strength. Learning the art of the flowing blade is the key to overcoming Scarlet Rot, something her mentor knew all about. Because although the prosthesis wear heirloom depicts the origin story of Melenia's heroic tale, she is not the only hero featured on the talisman. The blue dancer charm regales us with a legend. The dancer in blue represents a fairy, who in legend bestowed a flowing sword upon a blind swordsman. Blade in hand, the swordsman sealed away an ancient god, a god that was wrought itself. The blind swordsman, Melenia's mentor, sealed away an ancient god of rot using a flowing sword given to him by a fairy. My buddy Smotown has an excellent video on Melenia, and in it he references a Reddit post by you nameless singer, both linked in the description, in which Nameless Singer explains that Shifra means fairy in Old Irish, and makes the connection that Melenia's mentor likely got his flowing sword either from a fairy connected to the Shifra River, or from the Shifra River itself. And I bring this up because wielding a flowing blade and moving like flowing water is what brought the blind swordsman victory against the god of rot. And likewise, Melenia learning to wield her blade like flowing water from him, to keep moving and fighting is what gave her wings of unparalleled strength and the means to overcome her own accursed rot. The blind swordsman battled rot from an outer god and taught Melenia how to battle the rot from her inner god. Now of course Mikola helped halt her rot with unalloyed gold, but that only provided her the opportunity to fight the accursed rot. It was Melenia and her tremendous willpower that overcame her physical disabilities and mastered her skills with a sword. Her great rune talks about her spirit of resistance that allowed her to regain health. It is not a power she innately possessed, but her fortitude honed through her mastery of the blade that gave her a will so powerful that she could physically heal her wounds in battle and fight the rot within. The Hand of Melenia says, Blade built into Melenia's prosthetic arm, through consecration it is resistant to rot. 
Melenia's war prosthesis symbolized her victories. Some claim to have seen wings when the weapon was raised aloft, wings of fierce determination that have never known defeat. Between the prosthesis wear heirloom and the hand of Melenia, Melenia's wings depict her fierce determination and unparalleled strength gained from her mastery as a swordsman. Although her wings are made of Aeonian butterflies that carry scarlet rot, her wings are not a product of her affliction. Melenia, with a spirit of resistance strong enough to heal her body, has transformed the scarlet rot from a curse that pulls her down to unparalleled strength that lets her quite literally rise up and fly. Melenia's clean rot knights also illustrate this. In Japanese, they're called noble rot knights. Noble rot is a beneficial form of gray fungus that affects wine grapes and is used to produce a particularly fine and concentrated sweet wine. Their winged sword insignia states, a talisman depicting a raised prosthetic blade, an honor bestowed upon the knights who fought alongside Melenia the Sever, raises attack power with successive attacks. The wings symbolize Melenia and her undefeated prowess, though she never knew relief from the accursed rot she was born into, her blade was forever beautiful and relentless. Not only is this insignia of her clean rot knights literally her blade and wings, they symbolize how she is undefeated, not only in combat, but by the rot. And although she never got relief from the rot she was born into, she never stopped fighting and took her curse and turned it into something more noble and powerful. Now it's time we talk about the Battle of Aeonia. It is the climactic battle of the Shattering War and ends with Melenia blooming atop Radon and nuking Kaled with Scarlet Rot. But what would cause Melenia, who we've spent the last few minutes characterizing as relentlessly fighting and overcoming the Rot, to unleash Scarlet Rot upon Kaled? I believe that the fierce determination that granted her wings in overcoming the Rot was also tragically what answered the call of the Scarlet Rot and consumed her. Melenia's duel against Radon is shown in the story trailer, and in it you can see her stab Radon with her shattered prosthesis and then impale herself upon her blade. This is a relentless act of resistance. At the beginning of the scene you can tell by her stance, she is exhausted. Then we see her prosthesis blade shattered by Radon. Melenia is on the precipice of defeat, a situation she has not been in since before Mikola's unalloyed gold, and her mentor's training gave her the tools to overcome her accursed rot. And so she fights and resists as she has done her whole life. Rather than die by Radon's hand, she falls on the blade as an act of resistance and refusal to be defeated. It is hard to say with certainty if Melenia planned to simply die on her own terms here, or if she is aware of the Scarlet Bloom before this moment. This was the first time that she would bloom, and given that before her, Scarlet Rot was an old legend according to the Ant Spur Rapier, it is unlikely that she would have any precedent to know about the power of the Scarlet Bloom. And I don't think it matters. In this moment, she wielded the fierce determination and spirit of resistance honed through her training that kept her moving and fighting. It was ultimately her spirit of resistance and drive to keep fighting that allowed her to bloom. Millicent is a character we meet in Kaled and is Melenia's offspring, one of four sisters born out of the swamp of Aeonia in the fallout of Melenia's Scarlet Bloom. Her questline involves aiding her in halting her scarlet rot with an unalloyed gold needle and retracing Melenia's steps after the Battle of Aeonia. At the end of her questline, players are given the choice to either side with Millicent or her sisters in battle. If the player aids Millicent against her sisters, she will die, telling us that she is choosing to die as herself rather than bloom into something else. However, if the player assists Millicent's sisters and fights against her, the Sage Gowrie explains that Millicent trusts you rather deeply, in fact. Sever that trust. Nurtured by betrayal, her bud will flower most vividly. And upon being defeated, Millicent transforms into a Scarlet Bloom. Another way to put it is that by betraying her, you plant a spirit of resistance within Millicent. When Millicent dies and does not bloom, she has chosen to stop fighting, and with the support of the Tarnished as her ally, has come to peace with her situation. Melenia's spirit of resistance makes her relentless. 
It is mighty enough to physically heal wounds, grant her wings, and is also what allows her to deny even death through the Scarlet Bloom. Millicent tells us, There is something I must return to Melania. The will that was once her own. The dignity. The sense of self that allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot, the pride she abandoned, to meet Radan's measure. Melenia fought since birth, overcoming her rot by mastering her blade and honing her spirit of resistance. Now, in this pivotal battle of the Shattering that will likely determine the outcome of the entire war, she is up against her greatest adversary. Of course she is not going to accept defeat here, in fact, I don't think many of us would. However, most of us also don't have a cosmic affliction constantly gnawing at us and waiting for the chance to consume us whole, which is the tragedy of this moment. In an ironic twist, Melenia's spirit of resistance, honed through her struggle against her accursed rot, now nurtures her scarlet bloom. It feeds on her resolve to keep fighting, consuming her and decimating Aeonia and Caelid. On the plus side, this is when the Aeonian butterflies first appear. If you can recall back to the beginning of this video before I had said rot 1000 times, according to myth, these butterflies were once the wings of the goddess of rot herself. We have explored and discovered that yes, Melania's wings, a product of her unparalleled strength and overcoming her rot within, were indeed made out of butterflies. And given that these wings are a product of her spirit of resistance to the rot, and not a byproduct of the rot itself, it would then make sense to conclude again that, yes, all of the Aeonian butterflies originated from Melania's wings. However, despite enjoying how clean that is narratively, I don't think it's quite true within the reality of the lands between. After Melania's scarlet flower bloomed in the Aeonian swamp, life started popping out of there. Not only do we see plants and mushrooms growing out of the swamp, but the rotted winged sword insignia explains that the four sisters were born in the swamp of Aeonia, and the pest thread spell refers to the kindred of rot as the abandoned children of the goddess. The Scarlet Bloom created a whole ecosystem spreading out from the swamp, and I think that the Aeonian butterflies are part of that ecosystem. Melenia's wings were a product of her willpower over the Scarlet Rot, but the Aeonian butterflies are part of the Rot biome. To further illustrate this, let's take a look at a separate Rot environment, the Lake of Rot. The Lake of Rot map fragment states, A great lake of standing water downstream of the Ainsel River, it is said that the divine essence of an outer god is sealed away in this land. You find Aeonian butterflies, kindred of rot, and similar flora as to what we've seen in Aeonia down in the Lake of Rot. I think in the case of the kindred of rot, who are referred to as children of the goddess, they could be making a pilgrimage from Aeonia down to the lake. However, it was sealed by the blind swordsman and, probably as a result, is pretty difficult to access. If the kindred of rot came from Aeonia, they could have brought the butterflies with them, at this point though, we are having to jump through a fair few hoops to explain something, Well, I think there's a simpler answer. The rot produces a similar flora and fauna wherever it occurs. That being said, it does make sense that the myth would attribute Aeonian butterflies as coming from the wings of Melenia, given that before Melenia, Scarlet Rot existed in legend only, or was sealed away deep below the earth. So I think it makes the most sense that in reality, Melenia's iconic wings, born out of her fierce determination to overcome her affliction, were made of butterflies native to the ecosystem of the rot, and that this ecosystem only surfaced in the lands between after Melenia's spirit of resistance nurtured a scarlet bloom that consumed her and birthed the swamp of Aeonia. And there you have it, the mythology, reality, and tragedy behind Melenia's wings. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, and be sure to subscribe to The Lore Hunter to get more Elden Ring story and lore content. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my conclusions, or feel free to provide an alternative perspective. Thanks for watching.